This is a book. And this is a stack of index cards and a Sharpie. Can you guess which one will teach you how to read? I'm going to teach you step-by-step step, what you need to do to teach your child to learn how to read and write. You don't need a degree. You don't need a certificate to do this. So grab a pen, grab a pencil, and let's get started. Idea, vision, strategy, execution. I'm sorry to break it to you, but teaching your child to sing the alphabet won't teach them how to read. You may be asking yourself now, Cynthia, what do you mean? Little Johnny sings the alphabet all the time. Well, teaching a child letter sounds and how they blend and sound as an isolated, isolated sound is what teaches them how to read, not singing the alphabet. It's exposure to saying and listening to letter sounds daily is what teaches your child. This can be fun for them and does not need to take hours to complete. You will need two things to start. Index cards and a Sharpie. You're going to write the entire alphabet on index cards just like this. All capital letters to start and then lowercase letters. Step one, have your child repeat the letter sounds after you one by one, each letter at a time. Start with either capital letters or lowercase letters, but do not start with both because it can be too confusing at first. Depending on how fast your child learns, this can take them from four to six months to master. Once they have mastered it, then you can move on to a phonics lesson of your choice. And this is step two. I recommend a paper version like JDA's Elemental Phonics Level 1 and Level 2. I have the links for these products in the description box below. In this book, she blends the alphabet sounds that your child just learned with the vowels and consonants and two and three letter words for Level 1. And then she moves to four letter words in Level 2. They will also learn rhyming in this book as well. Now I'm going to be upfront with you. It can take some children a really long time to learn their letter blending, like a couple of years to truly grasp the concept. It's fine. Some children learn at a different pace than others, and that is completely fine. But if you notice that your child is struggling, then practice with them daily and provide them with an incentive after they are done. This can be a sticker chart with a reward at the end of the week for completing all of their reading. Try to think outside of that box with this. Step three, sight words. You want to practice some words with them because in the English language, some words have multiple meanings and sound like other words. There will be some words that they need to know without blending them. When I was teaching my kids how to read, I used these sight word ring cards that came with five different levels. I started with level one, and each day when we homeschooled, I would show them the letter, they would repeat after me, show them the word, I'm sorry, they would repeat after me, and we would do that every day. It took about five minutes until we were done with that level, and then whenever they mastered it, I moved on to the next level, and so on and so forth. At this point, your child should know how to read after you completed these three steps. Congratulations, you just taught your child how to read. However, if your child is still struggling and you are having difficulty, please leave me a comment below so that I can get back to you and give you suggestions on what you can do to try with your child. Also, if this video was adding value to you, please subscribe and add a like button. It really helps out the channel. Thank you. Next, we move on to teaching writing. Now, this is much more difficult than reading, especially if you skip the first three steps or if your child is still struggling. I want you to keep this in mind that some children can take up until fourth grade to learn how to proficiently read on their own. So, and writing as well, that's in the same category. If that is you, you are not alone. There is screening and intervention that you can get professional help for your child. I will link this information below. Teaching a child how to write can be difficult for them at first because of hand control with the pencil. They may not hold the pencil correctly, which can cause them to make their letters look strange and not form correctly. So what I did with my kids was start them with a different technique. I used to practice ergonomic training with my children, which is when they put a pencil grip over the pencil and it helped them to have their fingers lined up exactly where it needed to be while they were writing. So this is something that you can try as well. If you don't want to practice pencil writing, there are other activities that I'm going to mention that will help you with teaching writing without using a pencil. I tried air writing letters while saying the letter sound and had the child repeat what I did and ask them what letter it was. 
I also used Play-Doh on these laminated mats with letters and dry erase markers work on them as well. Shaving cream is another fun way to incorporate sensory into writing letters on a mat using their fingers or a paintbrush, or even using their finger to trace the letters. Once your child has gotten used to this pencil grip writing training, then you can move on to having them write on actual paper. I purchased these kindergarten writing books with the perfect sized lines for little ones needing to learn how to write capital letters, touching the top, and lowercase letters staying below the dotted line. This is important to teach them so that someone who is reading their writing can differentiate between a capital letter that they're making and a lowercase letter. I am hoping that this video provided you with value so that you can subscribe to my channel and get more of my content. Please comment below with how your reading and writing process is going. I would love to hear about it. Also, consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.